I would also, at this stage, mention the fact that catalysts play quite a, a reaction in fireworks. So again, for, for the, the chemists here, I'm sure you've been t told many, many times now that a chemical reaction that is taking place in one way direction and in a firework it's going from solid to liquid at the burning phase to gas and then sometimes it becomes incandescent and produces a flame. So here you've got the solid, you have the liquid phase where the reaction is taking place and then you have the gas coming off. So good piece of chemistry really for a, chem a change of state, solid, liquid, gas. But I'm sure in a school like this students know that you have a condition which takes place where you don't go through the liquid phase and that's called sublimation. And so sublimation is used in uh, fireworks quite regularly for making smoke. So what we're doing is we're finding a simple heating mixture and letting it smolder and then it will sublime the insecticide, if that's what you want to do with it, or make the smoke for signaling purposes with the military. So here we go, here's an example, you see, of such a reaction taking place here. So there's no flame, so all it's doing really is subliming that particular organic chemical which is there. And uh, it's quite effective. Those particular pellets are used for putting into pipes to make sure there's an airflow through them and they're not blocked. We had, a, we had starlings on our chimney last summer and uh, they were being rather a nuisance. So I put one of those in the grate, a big one, <laughs> and ran up the garden to watch and see what happened. And it was fascinating. They stood there looking at each other, looking down the chimney and going, oh, oh. Like this. And then they all cleared off and we've never seen them again. <laughs> so that's what happens then with, with that one. Or you can, of course, use organic dyes, which is very commonplace uh, in uh, military signals and that sort of thing. Uh, that particular one, if it gets your way, uh, will smell of uh, toffee because the the fuel that is burning there is in fact sucrose and so sugar and so basically you get that kind of uh, toffee smell coming from it 